side. It looks kind of like blood. <laughs> Okay. Hi everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to dye your hair. I'm dyeing my hair red and this is the product that I'm using. It's, I don't know to see, it's La Riche Directions. It's a semi-permanent and this one is I believe vegan. I know it's cruelty free so it's a really good color. So I'll show you what it looks like inside. It looks kind of like blood. So that's what it looks like. And you're going to need hair dye. You're going to need someone to help you put the hair dye on. That's Jenna. Um, you're going to need one of these little thingamajigs brushes. Mine's just from Ion. And it was just like a dollar. And then if you want, you can take it from the bottle or you can use one of these plastic bins. If you're going to use like peroxide or something, you can put it in there and you're going to need a brush. So first what you want to do is just brush through your hair and get that all nice and smooth and then on the package it says to towel dry your hair, shampoo and towel dry, but mine's already dry. So make sure you have on a shirt that you don't care about and the person that you're with has a shirt that they don't care about because it might get stains on it. And I think that's it. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'll zoom in to kind of start and show you what you're supposed to do and then we'll probably just like speed up the process or just cut it out and then I'll show you once it's all up in my hair, okay? Okay, so first you're just going to open up and pour your dye into the bowl. And this one's kind of thick, so just put in like a small amount in there because you don't know how much you're going to use. And then just go ahead and put the rest of it away. And then what you're going to do is just kind of mix that up in the bowl get some on your brush and then we'll show you putting it on my hair. Okay, sorry about this is being really close, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and put it in the hair. So just, if you want to, you can start from the bottom and clip up your hair or you can start from the top and just work your way down. So we're probably gonna start from the top and work our way down. So we're gonna put it in the hair now. So, my hair is all done and it's in here so that it can hold the heat in. So we're going to wait about 15 minutes and then we're going to wash it out. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. So now we're going to go ahead and wash out my hair and then I'll let it dry and then I'll show you okay. what it looks like. So, this is what the color turned out to be. And yes, it looks as bright as it does on camera. It might look a little brighter on camera, but that's what it came out to. Um, it did get a little bit dark here. I'm not sure why the color didn't take quite as well under there, but again, this is a semi-permanent color that I use, so it's not a permanent dye. And again, I just picked it because it's a vegan color and it's not bad for my hair. So I would say you'd probably have to touch this up every... Eh, two to three weeks because specifically because this one is red and red fades real fast and because it's a semi-permanent color it's going to fade faster than most but um, again I used the entire bottle tis gone so it's say you need one of these at least <laughs> okay probably shouldn't touch that great great um, yeah, be careful, by the way, um, because let me show you something. Do you see our walls? You see that? And that. And that. And that. Yeah, do you see all that? Well... Okay, so, yeah, I just showed you the wall because 
when we were using said tool, it flipped all over the freaking wall. Luckily, we're gonna end up painting our walls anyways. This is I'm in the bathroom, um, but yeah, just be real careful because it got literally on the walls, on the toilet, on the sink, on the everything. So be real careful. But anyways, like I was saying, um, yeah, I think I would go probably every two to three weeks just kind of I've never used this so I'm not sure quite how fast it's gonna fade if you wash your hair every day it's probably gonna fade a lot quicker so what I would recommend is maybe wash your hair every other day if you can um yeah other than that what you can do is what I'm gonna do is next time I dye my hair I'm gonna have two bottles and I'm guessing I'll use about a bottle and a half um because we like just barely were able to use this. We kind of just took like the end and like smushed it through the bottom of the hair, so it's not quite, quite as colored on the bottom. But um, what you can do is if you have leftover in one of your bottles, take a little bit and mix it in with your conditioner. So <laughs> I keep touching this bottle. <sighs> I keep touching the bottle. It keeps dying my fingers. Oh well. Um, yeah, take a little bit and put it into your bottle of conditioner so your conditioner is going to be red or whatever color you're using. Um, but do that and then that way when you're conditioning your hair, it kind of is redepositing the color in your hair, which I would have done, but we ran out of hair dye. So <laughs> anyways, so again, that is the color. And this was La Riche Directions. And obviously I'll have a link to the product below. I bought mine from the UK and it was cheap. It was only like seven bucks. But and that was with free shipping, but it took like quite a long time, like two or so weeks, I think, because not quite sure when it came because it came when I was on vacation um, last week. So I'm guessing it took around a little bit two, two and a half weeks to get here. So if you're going to get it and then you're going to keep dyeing your hair, I would buy more bottles. So like what I'm going to do is I'll probably buy like three to four bottles that way. One, I'll have enough to do two dyes of one and a half each. And then that way when I'm using the second one, I'll order a new one. So as soon as you use a bottle, order a new bottle. Okay? Because that's about... I'm in the U.S. and that's in the U.K. If you live in the U.K., you probably can get this product. But I haven't seen it here in the U.S. so far. Um, if you don't want to order this online, I would recommend getting Manic Panic. They have the same color because... I never told you what color I had. This is Pillar Box Red. So it's a little bit darker. I did not bleach my hair before. Um, Y'all have seen my hair color, what it is before, but obviously I'll have a picture of before and after. Um, yeah, so that's what it is. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It's pretty easy to do. If you have two mirrors, you can go ahead and do it yourself, but luckily I have a wife to help me out. So, all right guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! Oh no, I think I was recording that whole time. I went downstairs.